Hello, in this video we will discuss about the biosynthesis of uh, chlorophyll. But first of all we should need to understand what is the chlorophyll. So here is the mechanism, here is the soil and which there is contained root system of the plant used for the absorption of water and the shoot system is used for the photosynthesis through light. So the carbon dioxide will be fixed. So here is the microscopic picture we can understand as well. This is the cell. But this is the electron microscope is very important for identification of the organelle. So remember, in this way here is the chloroplast and here is the vacuole and here is the nucleus which that is contain chromatin material, the genetic material and here is the chloroplast as well as here is the cell wall, mitochondria used for the energy production and this is the cytoplasm and this is the cell wall outer membrane that is the dead and attached to each other the cell by cell. So here is a nucleus which that contain a chromatin material. So let's begin to understand the chloroplast. So the chloroplast is used for the photosynthesis by a fixation of light and fixation of the carbon dioxide to produce the glucose. So here is the chloroplast. This chloroplast contain a many many stack like structure is known as the grana. Single is grana while the plural is a grana. So here the water is used, dissociation, the photolysis will be occur to dissociate the proton and electron and oxygen. Oxygen is the byproduct and thylakoid membrane is here and thylakoid cranium, cranium and outer membrane and here is the stroma. So I hope you are getting these things and here is the glucose production after the fixation of carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide in the Calvin cycle. So this is the chlorophyll we will discuss where the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll are present in the thylakoid membrane, so contain photosystem. Photosystem 2, photosystem 1 is used for photos, photolysis of water to get electron. And this is the prime, primary electron acceptor are present. Here is a plasma membrane of the, basically is the thylakoid membrane, this is known as. And it is the bilayer of phospholipid uh, embedding the um, integral protein and this uh, intrinsic protein sorry and the antenna complex it is known as and it is the uh, photon containing 700 and 600, uh, 680 uh, is the photosystem 2 and 1 respectively which that use the light to uh, move the electron from 1 to 1 and excitation the reaction center will excite more after the absorption of the light to uh, get more uh, electron energy will move to another photosystem one so here is the chemical formula formula sorry this is the chemical formula of the chlorophyll contain porphyrin ring and phytol tail porphyrin ring is very important here is the methyl group when add in this way it is chlorophyll a while the uh, glyceraldehyde containing the chlorophyll b and the, this is the chlorophyll molecule. So let's begin to understand the biosynthesis without wasting any time. So here is a chromosome. This chromosome contains genes and this gene is basically enzyme produces from the active genes for synthesis of chlorophyll. So there are many enzymes used for it. The basis of requirement if the light will more and plant want to more absorption of light to produce the fruit etc and the shoot system so that is why the chlorophyll need more so, uh, so the chlorophyll will need more so the need of the energy as well as the production as well as growth of the plant will be more so here is the glutamate glutamate is the basically the amino acid which that is the glutamate reductase synthase enzyme used to glu uh, basically glutamyl transfer rna formation because the transfer rna will be bind so this enzyme glures glures which that is used for the attachment of the transfer RNA and, and here is the glutamyl transfer RNA uh, reductase enzyme used to produce the GSA. GSA means the glutamate one semi aldehyde amine which that is the here is the carboxylic group are present this is and the GSA and the amino transferase enzyme used to GSA 80 amino transferase enzyme used to produce the ALA this ALA means the amino 
ليوفيلينيك اسيد امينو ليوفيلينيك اسيد ان افتر ديستا امينو ليوفيلينيك 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 اسيد ديهيدروتيز انزيم يوز تو برودوس ذا بور فوبيلينوجين بور فوبيلينوجين this pore fobilinogen is the four molecule is required for the production of one hydroxymethyl bilani bilani bilan so you should remember that and here is the basically is the another um, pop gd is the enzyme is known as the pore fobilinogen deaminase you can understand with the pop gd and this is the basically the four amine group will be released and in this way this formation can be produced the hydroxymethyl bilane 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 hydroxymethyl bilane and this hydroxymethyl bilane structure is the ring like but inside the magnesium is is not present but the chlorophyll is the important function is the magnesium so magnesium is not present but here is you can see the carboxyl group and aldehyde group as well as the other groups which that is attached with it so the hydroxymethyl bilane after this hydroxymethyl bilane which that is the producing the euros uh, in the presence of euros euros mean the euro phirenogen euro phirenogen three synthase euro phirenogen 3 synthase enzyme used to produce the two types two type mean the euro porphyrinogen 3 synthase enzyme used to produce euro porphyrinogen 3 while in the case of the spontaneous reaction to produce the isomer isomer is the euro porphyrinogen 1 and it is basically is a not biological useful isomer so this is the inactive while uh, that is you can understand as well here is the carboxylic group and here is the basically is the also carboxylic group attached so there are many carboxylic group are attached so you can see this is a euro por porphyrino chen 1 is the not biological useful isomer so here you can see the interchangeable so in this way there are spontaneous reaction to produce all equal side but the one side is the um, alternate for example the carboxylic group chain and the aldehyde group will be upper part in the d ring so that is basically the useful is the euro porphyrino chain 3 and in this way the urode the urode mean the euro porphyrino chain 3 decarboxylase enzyme used for it to produce the coproporphyrinogen 3 coproporphyrinogen 3 coproporphyrinogen 3 and in this way the coproporphyrinogen 3 is basically is the uh, difference between the uroporphyrinogen and coproporphyrinogen is the uh, we can see and imagine that where the where the difference so let's begin to understand here is the euro uh, porphyrinogen which that here is a difference here you can see the methyl group add and here is the uh, here is the methyl group changes and here is the methyl group changes for as uh, aldehyde chain exchange and here is you can see so this thing is the modification and in this way the after the modification the ppox so the cpox and in this way the proto porphyrinogen proto porphyrinogen 9 and in this way the produce uh, proto porphyrinogen uh, uh, you can see that is the basically the proto porphyrinogen uh, uh, structure is looking like this and in this way the difference is here and here so the ch2 double bond and ch2 double bond here and you can see this is the proto porphyrinogen 9 and in this way here is after the uh, another enzyme which that is used for the proto porphyrin 
basically the firing or gen to convert a firing protopore firing and this the protopore firing is the protopore firing it is the basically is the light uh, pro uh, uh, pore firing ring production so that is the synthesis of the ring so here is you can see protopore firing 9 will be formed after the protopore firing or gen 9 so the proto to become a protopore firing from the fibrino firinogen firinogen so in this way here is the next we will discuss about the next step is the magnesium protopore firing 9 magnesium chelatase enzyme magnesium chelatase enzyme magnesium protopore firing 9 magnesium chelatase enzyme use chelatase to form a chelate formation chelate means you know the magnesium will bind with the four side and this complex formation looking like this and this is a chelate formation because the compound which that is contain a four sided the nitrogen 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 and this form a ring structure so in this way the next is the basically the magnesium methyl transferase enzyme which that is change the change the magnesium protopore firing 9 magnesium chelate to become a magnesium methyl transferase enzyme used to produce this type of ring like structure so the magnesium protopore firing 9 monoethyl ester formation through a magnesium methyl transferase enzyme so in this way here is the magnesium protopore firing 9 monoethyl ester formation so after this formation the important thing is that the divinyl protochloro Phyllide formation will be occur after here is a differentiation you can see both molecule so the addition of the methyl group will be occur from the ring number C so in this way here you can see this the magnesium protopore firing 9 monoethyl ester which that is in the presence of MPEC to in the enzyme mono uh, magnesium protopore firing 9 uh, is to raise um, uh, carboxylase enzyme use to produce the divinyl protochlorophyllite so the protochlorophyllite will be formed in this way here is the ring like structure will be formed and in this way the pore oxid oxyreductase enzyme so the protochlorophyllite oxyreductase enzyme use proto proto oxyreductase enzyme used to produce the divinyl chlorophyllite 9 so the divinyl chlorophyllite 9 will be produced and after this the divinyl chloro divinyl chlorophyllite 9 is the basically the structure is looking like this the differentiation between them here is as you can see that is the changes between the divinyl protochlorophyllite to divinyl group chlorophyllite 9 is the differentiation in the hydroxyl group will be added and in this way the aldehyde formation will be occur and the uh, you can see this is the ring attachment so this here is after this the divinyl chlorophyllite 9 um divinyl reductase enzyme the dvr reductase enzyme used to produce the chlorophyllide synthase enzyme used to produce after the produce the chlorophyll chlorophyllide synthase enzyme 9 to produce the chlorophyll here is you you can see this the chlorophyll so i hope you make sense about the biosynthesis and the chlorophyll concept so make sense thank you